got a good opportunity to win goal in this event. But like you mentioned, he needs to watch out with the two outside smoke, right? We've got Kitin in lane one and Triadi in lane seven. So, you know, they're both on the far edges of the pool, which may be a little bit hard for Sung Jin to see where they are on the last, especially on the last 50. The fastest time this year is posted by lane number seven, Triadi Fauzi, 2.02.31. So we will watch out for him going very quickly. There are four, three swimmers actually, who are butterfly specialists, two backstroke specialists and two breaststroke specialists. Ching Hong is one of those three in the butterfly specialist and he is definitely a breaststroke specialist, already a winner in the 200 meters breaststroke. Kita Nutapong, the 2011 champion in lane number one. Jesse Lacuna, who was fifth in this, third in this event in 2015, he is in lane two. Tran Du Khoi of Vietnam, lane number three, who was fourth yesterday in the 200 meters backstroke. And here is Sheng Jin, 2.03, his quickest and his personal best clocked this year when he won the Singapore National Age Groups. Lim Ching Huang of Malaysia, the butterfly swimmer. Believe it or not, the Malaysians have never won a gold medal in this event in SEA Games history. Lionel Ku of Singapore, who won the ASEAN University Games last year, he's in lane number six, and then the man who's clocked the fastest time this year in Southeast Asia, Triadi Fauzi, the Indonesian record holder, one of seven records he owns, he's in seven. Paul Lenguen of Vietnam, another one of those who is quick in both the butterfly and the backstroke, so don't be surprised if he's leading after the first two legs of this 200 meters individual medley final. SEA Games record, 2.00.66 by Joe Schooling, who is not here. He is here, but not competing in this event for 2017. So don't be surprised if you see the lights of Jesse Lacuna in lane two. Lane number five, Lim Ching Huang. Lane number seven, Triadi Fauzi. And lane number eight, Paul Le Nguyen going very quickly in this first leg because they're all butterfly specialists heading into the backstroke. It is indeed Paul Le Nguyen of Vietnam who's got a slight inch ahead of Triadi Fauzi in the first 25 meters. In the 200 IM, the middle 100 meters is the most important part of the race. Um, the backstroke and the breaststroke leg, that's usually where the, the race is decided. So exactly as we said, those butterfly specialists have gone out very quickly and now here come the backstroke specialists. The catch up from lane three, Chan Du Khoi, and then Paul Le Nguyen will try to maintain that lead. We did expect him to win and lead at least after 100 meters because his favorite two disciplines have come and gone, the butterfly and the backstroke. Fauzi Triani is doing very well to keep pace with him. And lane number four, Pang Xing Jin at the moment, taking his time before he attacks because his favorite stroke's the last, and that is the freestyle. But will it be too little too late? He turns at the moment just slightly in seventh place. Lionel Ku, this is where he plays catch-up. Keaton Nutapong in lane number one has got a lot of catching up to do, and this is where he usually does his business in the breaststroke. Pang Sheng Jun slowly coming back into the picture now, but it's Paul Le Nguyen of Vietnam who is still in the lead, slightly ahead of Triadi Fauzi of Indonesia, who's already had two silver medals in the SEA Games in the butterfly events. Triadi Fauzi is very quick in the freestyle, we know that. So too is Sheng Jin, but is it too little too late for Sheng Jin? Going into the final 50, it will be the freestyle leg. And Triadi has taken the lead now over Le Nguyen. Surely no one's going to catch him. Or is Sheng Jin coming back? Because that's a tremendous turn by Pang Sheng Jin to get right back into the mix. Pang Sheng Jin of Singapore coming back superbly strong against Triadi. Can Triadi actually even look at him? Sheng Jin certainly can. He's breathing towards the way of Triadi. So he knows exactly what he has to do. And the grounds he has to catch up with in terms of beating the Indonesian. He is coming back strong. Pang Sheng Jin versus Triadi Fauzi for the gold medal of the 200 meters individual medley. It does go to Triadi Fauzi, just his second individual goal in his SEA Games career, 0.34 ahead of Sheng Jin, and Le Nguyen of Vietnam once again has to settle for a bronze medal. I think Sun Chin swam a very, very smart race. Um, and he, I, he could have taken it out a little bit quicker. He, I mean, at the, at the first 100 turn, I think it was a little bit too far back, but, you know, he, he swam a fantastic breaststroke. He caught up, um, and I'm surprised, actually, given that he's a distance swimmer. Um, you know, I thought he would win it, um, given that you know, he's got very strong back end speed. Um, but Triadi, obviously, congratulations to him. Um, you know, he's always he's been second and third quite a few times um, so far in the SEA Games. He has been the fastest in Southeast Asia this year. And he has proved that point at the SEA Games 
by being the fastest in the 200 IM. Triadi Fauzi, 201. That's a new national record for him. And I believe Pang Sheng Jun's also rewritten his personal best for this event in finishing 0.36 behind Triadi. Paul Leng Wen, who led after 100 meters of this race, couldn't keep up with the rest in the final strokes. And Triadi, we all know how quick he is in the freestyle, but Sheng Jin almost, if the pool had been extended by another 10 meters, it might have been Singapore's gold. Definitely, I think, um, you know, Sung Jin's obviously got the, dis got the stamina in him. Um, the longer the races, the better it is. So, you know, I think Sung Jin's got a very, very good chance. I would put him as the favorite for the 400, in 400 meter individual medley, the longer part of the medley races. It's a disappointment for the 2011 champion, Keaton Nutapong, who only finishes in fifth spot, tied with Lionel.